Hello, mate. How's it going? Oh. Hello, you. Thank you very much, mate. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you very much. Right, hold up. What am I doing here? Who's this guy? And how have I ended up getting a job to clean a tank? Well, just over a year ago now, I cleaned this and I had an absolute blast. But then at the end of the video, I said this. I thought I better start getting hunting for some more jets and maybe, maybe a tank. Should I do a tank? Let's find a tank and we'll clean that. And that's where my problems began. After multiple emails sent out and about three to four months, I ended up giving up until I saw a video by one of my favorite creators, Whistling Diesel. Yes, freaking way. So the guy driving that tank is called Joe. Joe also has a YouTube channel and a TikTok. So I reached out to him to see if he needed anything cleaning around his farm, to which he replied, how about cleaning Whistling Diesel's tank before it gets shipped off to America? So that's a long way of saying, today I'm cleaning a tank. Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah I know what you mean. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so yeah I bet this stuff keeps you busy, doesn't it? Oh Christ, there's, there's so much you do on every single one. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose sending that overseas, that makes you an international arms dealer, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but did, you, did you ever see in the newspaper years ago that there was a tank found with gold in the fuel tank? No, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, well, you'll have to. Was that one of yours? It. Yeah, it was one of mine. <laughs> did you get to keep the gold? That's his no. Oh, no. I was looking at that plane on the way, and you're gonna to have to let me clean that plane in the field at oh, some we've point. Oh, got that plane. We've got another one around the corner. Mate, it's so green. Yeah, like, yeah, as yeah. soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh, I need yeah, to clean that." Yeah, we've got all sorts of bobs and bits. I was glad I bought my wellies today, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need wellies around here. <laughs> at the bottom there, that that big, big he uh, thick set hedge. Yeah. That's all a disused railway line. Is that when you're bombing through the? miles long so we've got like our own race track that's nuts <laughs> doing videos anyway the only thing i'll find normal wow look at this yeah i've got the wings um yes yeah, so this is another one of the millions of projects that we've got so what are you going to do like fully restoring this is that the plan well it does have an engine in it it does um See, mate, I, like, I could do a full video just cleaning this thing. You, you've got no idea, honestly. I'd absolutely love That'd it. That'd clean it well. It really would, mate. It really would. Yeah, this is cool, man. So what's the story with this, then? It's a, it's a Seahawk. Um, you used to obviously be on a... On a um, for landing on a ship, you see. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you call it? Aircraft um, yeah, yeah. carrier. Um, I think it's about 1950 something. Uh, they're actually quite rare now. Um, but basically, it was going to get scrapped. Yeah. Uh, and a friend of mine who was a bit of an aircraft geek yeah. was like, oh, well, I know where there's this Seahawk, but I've got nowhere <laughs> to put it. And I was like, well, you got it up to space, mine. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the history of the chieftain then? So this what, chieftain... Was it active at all? Or? No, it's deactivated. <laughs> I'll show you what I did. So, off this down. It's actually uh, part of the barrel that I've had to gas out. Wow. Look how thick that is. So that piece is obviously part of yeah, that right back inside. And under this commander's component, if you look here, there's a big slab of metal. Oh so yeah, that's the back of the gun. So when the when the loader puts yeah. the round in, yeah. on this it's a two-part ammunition. But when they put the round in, there's a obviously the back of the gun. There's a big piece of metal that comes up yeah. to sort of seal the gap. And when it goes bang, it don't kill everyone in the turret. Yeah. Well, the, the the thing called the breech block that slides up, I had to gas that off and the housing that holds that again. So obviously no one could fire yeah. anything ever again. And if they did. Obviously, I've gassed that out of the barrel, so basically, if you tried to do fun. anything, it would kill everyone in the <laughs> turret, but that's what they want to see, so yeah. I mean, it's a real shame. It? I remember you said in the video, it was like, it's fine enough for it to be here, and it's, but 
even though America's allowed a lot more it doesn't make sense. than, than so we are. You go to war, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. buying nine men without <laughs> any license. Yeah, you yeah. can't import it's, it's the imported it's at the docks that, that yeah. where they have the trouble. I think if you could like get the tank and then import the gun in different pieces, maybe in section, yeah, right. and they could build it I up think over there. Actually there are other states that will allow it. Yeah. You yeah. See that house in the distance over there? Yes. You can choose which window you want to really? send the shell through, yeah. No way. shell that building from it. And that's that's a couple of miles away, you know what I mean? But obviously that's like And that's a, just that one. Yeah. So this one is So this one would be accurate. So this could it if it say if there was a tank on that far road there, there's a the car going there. Yeah. Easily that would pick that off. Wow. It's nuts, isn't it? Yeah, won't won't be any bother to it. So first up the green tank its engine bay needs a bit of a clean up before a engine goes back into it and it's also in the way so we need to get that done before we move it back into the garage and then we can start Cody's chieftain tank. Oh yeah. There, just so the water's got somewhere to go. Yes, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Let me get up here. I feel like the wind's gonna blow this off, but we'll see. No, it'll be alright. It's only a GoPro, they're pretty sturdy. So you've been you've been trying to do this all with that little spray bottle? Huh? You've been trying to do this all with that little yeah. mate, you'll be amazed in a second then. We'll see how quick it, this it gets was, covered. <laughs> yeah. Landed on your face, would you? No, I was actually <laughs> talking to. Better when you got half a ton of water in there. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> Don't it, you reckon? Yeah, 
whatever you think. That looks a damn sight better than all the. Yeah, it does. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's just that white button on the top. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll actually move. Um, I probably could climb up the front, can't I? Just Yeah, I am, yeah. Let's get your bricks, Luke. <laughs> uh, do I stand on it or sit on it? What do you reckon? I'll, I'll stand on it. Ready? to do this mate, I'm gonna have to come back and do this. You see this is what Dude. I would say was prime for you. Now this is gonna be really satisfying to clean. Oh my god. Well if anyone wants to see this one, leave a like on this video, go subscribe to Joe's Joe's channel as well. Um I don't know what subscribers you're on now but let's try and push for a milestone. I'm at 17 now I think. So, so let's like get him to 20 and then we'll be straight back to clean this, eh? What you reckon? <laughs> Look at this. That is ridiculous. It'll be satisfying to clean, won't it? Yeah, holy crap. It just comes off, it just peels off, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, mate, and this will be crazy. Well. And that'll be perfect. The more paint and crap we get off, the better. Yeah, this must be really old then for this to happen, eh? It's literally been, well, this this is 1960s. Really? So that's um, the same as the Chieftain, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, similar Cold War era. And this was a self propelled gun, so it's not a tank as such. Yeah, yeah. This would have been like a mobile artillery piece, so that gun would go right up near there. Oh, wow and be shelling people but uh, that is crazy all right then folks we are ready to rock hopefully this camera angle is okay i've got a few others set up if not oh, we've cooled down pretty quick eh? so i'm going to start from the top we're going to snow foam all of this and then i'm going to then start working down to the side stuff down here the chest height stuff but i'm going to get that top done first and then we'll see where we are from there. The time is about 20 to 11. Let's, uh, let's get this tank nice and clean for Whistling Diesel, ready for his videos. Joe said it's okay if water gets in here because everything's screwed up anyway so he's going to be doing a lot of stuff to repair all this so it doesn't matter if any water goes down but guys come on how cool is this I'm having the best day ever
jump down here, yeah? Yeah. Right. Where do we go? What do do? Onto that next seat. Climb down there, yeah? Yeah. The Amos seat. Oh, mate, this is cool. <laughs> Wee. Nice and snug. Oh, that's fucking wet straight nice, well. Nice, it? It's really nice in here. Yeah, these wires are a bit up in your grill. Yeah. So, can you uh, work on your seat? So yeah. basically, you've got a handle on your right hand side there. This one? That's it. Now, if you rotate that, it's quite, it takes a bit of doing. That's it. And as fast as you can do it without cracking your fingers. Or, or your fingers. Are we moving? We are moving. Oh, that is so cool, mate. Tell me when to stop. I've <laughs> got, I've got long to go. Let me speed it up a bit then. Oh mate, this is a workout. Sorry, I don't need a gym. Still going? Yeah, keep going. Watch out, Halfway. Halfway. Yo, Dave. I'm there. Holy shit. That was back around. Oh. Easy? Hey. <laughs> Imagine nothing to do that in the middle of battle. Well, to be fair. It should be electric, that's just the uh, manual override. You wouldn't want to do that a lot, would you? Oh, that was good, pretty. There we are, dead set. Ready, aim and fire. So guys, we've been going for about half the day so far and we're not even done yet. We've still got the hardest part to do, which is the tracks. Joe said to me that it normally takes him a full week to be able to clean one of these tanks up. And I was like, nah, I'll get that done in a day, mate, easy. Um, by this point, I'm thinking, no, I don't think this is possible in a day, actually. And to be honest, I didn't even finish the underside of the tank on this day. So we'll be going back to finish that off soon, where you guys will see me yeah, literally right underneath the tank, pressure washing and getting absolutely drenched. But yeah, that's more to come. I'm actually going back tomorrow to do some more work over there. So another video will be coming very soon.
Right then, folks, so then it was on to doing the tracks. Unfortunately, like an absolute idiot, I set my head cam camera to time lapse instead of normal things. So I've got like about three hours of head cam footage cleaning these tracks out that's all in time lapse, which looks ridiculous. So I'll just talk over it briefly. They were extremely difficult to, to do, so hats off to Joe for doing this all the time. There's like little holes that are in between some of the metal parts on the tracks, which are just clogged up with stones and mud. So you have to kind of like blast them out because if you leave that in there, then the tank's not going to get accepted to go on the ship, which means it's not going to get to its desired home. So everything needs to be fully cleared out. Uh, yeah, the splashback was brutal, guys. It was like, it just goes straight into your face the entire time. It was really, really awkward to clean. But I got there in the end. I sorted it. Uh, the light started to die. So after I cleaned the tracks, I'll overlay it on screen in a minute. Um, then me and Joe obviously cleaned all the floor off just so we don't, go over dirt again and get them dirty again if you know what I mean um, and clearing the sort of area ready for the next vehicle that we're going to be doing very soon so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video it's taken hours I think I'm hour six on editing this at the moment there's been so many different clips and different angles but it's been really fun um, this would this job was yesterday so it's the day after that I'm, I'm editing it and yeah I had a really great time thanks again to Joe for inviting me down please everyone go check out his channel he's a really top guy so yeah, hopefully we can get him up to a nice, nice comfy amount of subscribers. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I'm sure there'll be an outro clip in the video at some point in a second anyway. Right then guys, this gives you the idea of the splashback. The waterproofs are no longer waterproofing. So hats off to uh, this guy here for uh, doing this all the time. I can barely clean, <laughs> I'm dry at least. Yeah, yeah I've, my, trays, my trousers straw. have hit the limit today. They're usually pretty good waterproof wise, but not today. And there you have it guys, job done. Obviously I apologise for no gleaming after pictures, but it was almost pitch black there. So you'll see the final result of this one and probably in one of the next videos when I get the next, next tank cleaning video up. So yeah, thanks a lot guys. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Happy New Year. What a start to the year. We've started it with a bang, literally I'd say, don't you think? Alright guys, take care. Peace.